Saturday, the last Saturday of April, which is really good news. So, we're gonna be in May, so you're watching this on Monday in May. So, cute. What I wanted to talk about, um, I kind of um, talked a little bit about stuff last um, video some stuff in the news and what's happening in the news now when I did that video um, I didn't know about the um, the Chrissy Lee Paulus incident at McDonald's um, so I didn't really talk about that I did put it in the credits at the end but I wanted to talk about it a little bit um, I just I thought that was just the worst thing that could happen to anybody. Um, so, you know, I, I think um, what Chrissy said, that they were just looking for a fight. I think that's the real reason. They were just looking for a reason to fight. I think what really bothered me a lot was the fact that everybody else around her didn't help her at all. McDonald's workers didn't do anything, nothing at all. And you know, you got to think about this, okay? There are so many things you can use in a restaurant for a weapon. So for them to think, oh, you know, to be scared, no. There's a lot of hot things in the back you can use for a weapon if you really need to. Um, if every person in that restaurant stepped in and stopped them, there would be no problem. They would have to leave. And the workers should have locked the doors. So I hope everyone had a great Easter. I had a great Easter. Um, I spent it with my family. Um, I had a fun time. Had an Easter egg hunt. I was able to use my camera. And the camera did very good outside so that's cool inside it just does I don't think it the sound is not really great maybe it's the lights and um, maybe the computers and other stuff that's interfering maybe that's it I don't know but outside you know the sound worked very well so that was cool so yeah I just want to um, make perfectly clear that <laughs> Um, that if I was at that restaurant, at McDonald's restaurant, and saw them beating up Chrissy, um, I really hope I would have stepped in and did something. I've never been in that situation. Um, if other people stepped in, I might have. I really want to say I would. And it's not just because she's transgender. Because I probably would have, wouldn't have would have known she was. Um, maybe, you know, when they were saying that she was, maybe I would say, hey, it wouldn't matter if she was. You know, if you really have a problem with her being in the bathroom, you go to authorities or you go to the police. Would you have the courage to stand up for someone who's being beaten up? You know, it's it's kind of scary. With um, you know a lot of things going on, the person who tries to step in and save someone else 
is the one that sometimes gets hurt or killed. Okay, so that's about it. I think um, I think that'll be it for now. I'm gonna go to sleep. It's uh, actually 12 o'clock, so I'll probably stay up for another hour. I've actually been in the mood to dress up a lot this week. Um, it was quite interesting. Um, I wore my slip to bed, um, some pantyhose to bed sometimes. I like doing that sometimes. And this week, for some reason, I was just in the mood. <laughs> but that's basically what I wanted to say. Um, I just want to um, make sure that everyone knows that in probably two more months, um, I'm going to be changing my schedule of making videos. I probably will still make it on Mondays, but for me, myself, <clears throat> I'm not going to push myself to do that, okay? Um, my decision was to make four videos every month at least, so that's that, okay? Doesn't matter if it's on Monday, Tuesday, whatever, okay? So that's going to take that pressure off me. And the thing is, I don't do very well with stress or pressure right now. It really gets to me. So, I like the idea that if I really wanted to make a really good video, I'll have the time to do it. And um, I think that's more important than just putting a video out every week. You know, there's some people out there who make a video every day and they're great it's really interesting to see all the um, the uh, transgendered um, people that I was watching for you know these past years and they've already gone through SRS or GRS if you want to call it either or so I'm, really, I'm really happy for them You know, Samantha Zero, she went through it, and um, I'm happy for the, everyone else, too. I forget, there's, there's been like maybe four, I think, that I've known, that I know of, who I follow. They're giving lots of good information, and um, it's really interesting to see. Okay, so I think that's about it. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm actually gonna go to sleep. So, hope you have a great uh, week. Okay, good night.